and welcome. This is where I showcase my life and figuring things out because of life. I'm gonna wear face mask all the time, look absolutely outstanding, review and discuss whatever because we train so hard that I achieve maximum strength like that. And we have to stay hydrated because we gotta feel good inside and out. So I hope y'all jotted all that down because the chaos is about to unfold. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's anime confession day. It's been a little minute. I know some of y'all be so disappointed whenever y'all don't see y'all confession. So what I do basically, it's like confession roulette, if you will. <laughs> I just choose whichever ones, like I just, yeah, and I'm like, okay, boom, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. But um, if you wanna put your confession in, it's in my description box below. Just click the link and then put your confession in. I got my HP ready, so there they go. So uh, let's get to it then, shall we? Trend! So one time this year, when I was rewatching MHA, I licked my screen when Hawks came on. I had to dream about Bakugo and Dinky and Kirishima going at it to me and like it's not okay going going at it to me what that mean i don't like the sound of that oh, shuya is ugly as i'm not gonna lie hold on who's that oh i've, I've seen this guy before oh he's not ugly it's well teach us on i guess so um a few weeks ago i had gotten a Toso figure and uh I started to sniff him and he smelled like freshly new basketball. <laughs> freshly new basketballs from Walmart. Oh, thank you for confessing. Hey Trin, hey YouTube, love your vids. They make me have a good chuckle, like a whole out of body experience. Oh, thank you. Anyways, back in like 2020, 2021, I had an outlandish crush on Katsuki Bakugo. Like it was insane. I had a whole account and it got logged out of it so now I can never delete my shameless actions, but that's besides the point. I remember seeing a video saying, if you closed your eyes and laid still and focused on any character, you would feel someone next to you. So I wanted to try with Bakugo, duh, and bro. Why did I feel a presence? I almost leaped up to the ceiling like a cat touching water. Anyways, that's all. Bye, Trin, love you. Love you too. Honorable mention, my stink of butt, my beautiful blonde glorious King Nanami will forever be in my heart. Oh, that's nice to hear. This is so embarrassing, but like in 2021, I had this ungodly obsession with Sebastian, um, ooh, Michaelis from Black Butler. I had a big poster of him on my wall. So what happened was I used to talk to my friends about, ooh, sucking his, if you know, you know, I think I do. So my friend took it a bit too seriously and got me a monster shaboy boy for my beat. Oh my goodness. And stuck it to the poster of him in my room. I also call my seventh grade cousin, hello! The Bakugo or whatever that guy's name is from MHA. I'm traumatized, yeah. Well, John AOT is literally my man. He makes me... I know that's not bust a nut. <laughs> Every time he's on the screen, Lala. Also, love your face, thank you. So in 2020, I had a hockey face. I really like Tsukishima, so I wound up reading those YN fanfics about him and I used to just be clicking on anything. There was this one that I still remember to this day and not for a good reason. I swear quarantine took me places I wouldn't go. Wait, I wouldn't even go with a gun. It was one of those mafia fics so I honestly don't know what the fuck I was expecting. But that shit was crazy. Preposterous even. I ignored the tags but it had a warning for violence that I didn't take seriously because I was curious and I thought it can't be that bad. Girl. That author made Tsukushima the final boss of toxic book talk male leads. Like if there were ranks for abusiveness, he'd be S tier. He was basically torturing the reader, dog. Tsukuna would have been depressed. It was that bad? To this day, I wonder what the author's problem was. <laughs> like Tsukushima is just mildly bitchy and likes to play volleyball. How did we get here? I learned to always read all the tags after that. Anyways, I love your videos. You're so funny. <laughs> Thank you. First off, I wanna start off with I know I'm early, but early is always the best. Also, also, I love your videos. Please don't die. I love you. Thanks. I'll try not to. In 2020, 2021, I was on this role play at role playing with real people. I had an anime girlfriend and an anime boyfriend. One day I met this dude on there and we role play all month. He asked for my Insta and I gave it to him. And he followed me. We continued to role play until it got bad. He texted me back with watching hen, hen anime. I then found out what it was after searching it up 
we then started to do um you know yeah it was so embarrassing because we would randomly put <laughs> ah! goes fast in the chat and i wish i could change his memory from my brain anyways i love you oh <laughs> love you too hi i love you and your tiktok so much and you are so pretty thank you i love you too anyways in 2021 i was super obsessed with aot to the point where i wore a hoodie with the wings of freedom on it to school and my wallpaper on my phone was an aot collage it was really embarrassing anyways i love your vids thank you i don't think that's embarrassing now if you had the whole shebang on like if you had like glasses socks um the freaking like t-shirt sweatpants they got then it'd be like hey all right you rapping for real kind of not anime confession but i was in class and my teacher started talking about digital footprints and how the feds track everything and that nothing's actually deleted i got so scared because one part of me was thinking about my character AI history but the other part of me was thinking about all my lost photos and how they could easily get them back gojo makes me oh okay hell can't even make that shit up i have wait i save all types of edits of him breathing pan speaking I would suck the life out of it. Whoa! He got me knuckles deep, two fingers poking in, pro brought it in all types of way. My friends always blow up my phone at night about VC and what game we'll play when I got Gojo talking about. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. I'm trying to not. What the fuck you bothering me for? Gojo got a pretty face and he cute, making blush for wanting to have his babies. Walls be twitching and stuff. He's on my mind. I don't think I finished this one. Whenever the Google um forms, like it doesn't like update immediately. So whenever I just go to pick out which ones I want to choose, it doesn't really show all of it. So I think they have more to say. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that, cause I've had enough. I once watched Orange High School Host Club on repeat so many times that I started seeing Tamaki everywhere I went. It'd be like that sometimes. It's like I hear their voices. Well, I'm trying to go to sleep and that's why I can't sleep. That happens with me with Spongebob sometimes too. Hi Trin, I really love your videos and you. And you. So this was around peak 2020 where Yaga Miyata was normalized. I wish it wasn't. And I was in love with Bakugo. Like I do anything to pop my, oh my goodness, for this man. Anyways, I love him so much. I listened to Yaga Miyata and I'd reenact what would happen in hearing this man wet me, <laughs> me wet. I'm a changed woman now, trust. I, I believe you. <sighs> Nanami is my man, and we are married with 50 kids and a mansion in the suburbs. Thanks. Like, oh, oh, okay. Also, your videos are funny as hell. Thank you. Gojo is my baby daddy, and he cheated on me with Ghetto. She, I cheated on him with Nanami, Sukuna, and Broke Atoji. But he braided my booty hairs for free, so I ain't that mad. So, what? So what just happened? Hey, I love you and your TikToks, but anyway. 2020, 2021, it was a tough time. I used to be obsessed, and I mean obsessed, with like Toto Deku and Toto Deku Bakukiri and Bakukiri. I mean, I would get so pissed off when they, when like someone said shit about them in comments that they wouldn't be good together. I was calling them all kinds of slurs. I was just to read Alpha Beta Omega Fix about them and like smut y'all and shit but don't worry i'm a changed girl trust by the way y'all remember that Todoroki giving birth to long video <laughs> shit was dramatic this ain't even anime related but i was also a dsmp fan too anyway love you the to Todoroki giving birth alone long video i've never heard of that and i'm glad i did i am so sick honestly even then like when i heard about who was to oh, the bakugo tampon or was it gojo Probably both. I just didn't even look into it. I didn't even, I, did, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save myself. Once I hear about it, I'm like, all right, well, y'all can do it. Not me. Well, th th thanks for confessing. Hey girl, I love your videos. They make me almost piss myself. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Anyways, so basically I really got into anime this year. JJK got me into anime so much, but like, not gonna lie, Gojo has taken over my life. My profile pic is Gojo literally everywhere. My personality is also becoming like his. It's that bad. Like, Gojo is my man, I don't care! Nanami can get it too! I totally let Nanami and Gojo hit at the same time. Anyways, thank you for making me giggle. <laughs> no problem. Hi, Trent, you're so pretty and I love you and you've been so much. Thank you. One with the confession. 
In late 2022, I was obsessing heavy over Nanami and Gojo and would constantly make up scenarios of us having a threesome and would please myself to it. Then later, I found Ghetto and Toji and Choso and would constantly go on character AI and Chai? I don't know. Just to message the five of them and do those things. In December of 2023, I love Nanami and Choso and still see them on character AI. Wait a minute, what's the di who's Chai? Hold, hold on, just real quick so I can get a better understanding. It's chat AI. That's what I was saying at first. I, I was saying chat AI and thinking that I was character AI. So there is literally different, okay. So then chat AI. Okay, I love Nanami and Choso and still see them on chat AI and character AI and Momate? I would search up how to shift on TikTok and feel myself in their arms. Three weeks before Christmas, my mom noticed how much posters of a white blonde man, which she calls Nanami, and a man with girl hair, which she calls Choso, I had next to my K-pop wall. She questioned me about and looked through my camera roll to see more than 80% of my storage taken up in there. Oh gosh, oh no. Why don't Google Forms let me know? No, I guess we'll never know. If this is your confession, I am so sorry. I really need to know what's, what, what you said after. It says my right down there, so there was obviously more. Oh, thank you for confessing though. I'm sorry I didn't get the do I love it. Hi, Trin. I love watching your vids and TikTok so much, but on to the confession. In 2020, I was so obsessed with the show to Aizawa that I cuddled with my body pillow every night while listening to those comfort audios. It was so bad that I did it every night until I discovered what had, and I started writing fanfics about me and him, and we got freaky. Anyway, one of my friends introduced me to character AI like last year, and I stayed up till 7 in the morning every night using it, and I still use it, but I get my sleep. That's it. Love you, Trin. Love you too. It went from boom to boom to. <laughs> Hi, Trinity. I just wanted to say that your content is unique and so funny which is a rare thing to see on TikTok nowadays. You're really entertaining and you seem super sweet. Hey! Bro, thank you, that was so nice, uh huh. Y'all just know how to make my day, don't y'all? Anyways, here's my confession. I used to have the biggest Haikyuu obsession in 2019, 2020 and religiously wrote fan fiction about the anime. I had a thing for Kageyama, I was 15 at the time, don't worry. And he got me to start volleyball. Since he's a setter, I also fought girls at my club for that position. And guess what? I'm 20 now and still play volleyball as a setter. I'll be playing in college too! This was less cringy than I anticipated, but it's still a confession. I love you, Trin, and keep up with the great content. Thank you. And that is so good! So you're still playing and you're a setter? Okay, period! I was so against character I until I downloaded it. That mess has me giggling too much! I agree! The way that me and Choso went from like not knowing each other to just uh, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't texted at all none of the characters I'm like I'm waiting I don't want to like just have y'all hanging you know so I'm like I'm waiting it's hard though because I want to could you like maybe react to my Toji and Gojo edits Ooh. <laughs> That was amazing. When I was in like year eight or seventh grade for the US, my friend and I both really liked MHA. I regularly posted shitty videos on TikTok for like 40 people from my school that followed me. Luckily, nobody remembers too much because no joke, I was spam posting like, damn, okay. Anyway, me and this girl decided to do matching usernames as like half a joke and half thinking we were cool, funny. So our usernames were like Bakugo's bitch and Todoroki's bitch. It ain't even that bad, but every time I remember it haunts me. P.S. I used to make videos on how much I love my MHA faves and how I simp for them. Hell, I used to be really into shifting and post about what I would do if I shifted there. Wow. Thank you for confessing. Hey, girly pop. First, I want to start off and say you make me so happy. Your videos are so funny. Keep up the good work. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Anyways, okay, so one time in like 2020, 2021, I had a big MHA obsession and I would watch Baku Deku Gacha Heat videos and I would feel a tingling in my body and um, I'm scared. I also would role play with my wall and talk to myself for hours and my parents got so worried in that they almost took me to a mental hospital. Wow. Anyway, love you girl. Oh, 
And y'all be sleeping on Inaraki. That man is so fine. Thank you, OMG. I would call him a, a good boy all day, OMG. <laughs> I love you anyways. Have a good day and night. Love you, girl. Oh, what are you doing? Jalal is my baby daddy. Ooh, who's that? With that, that bright blue hair. He remind me of what's the name from Ren. That's what we look like, Ren. Okay. I get turned on my Gojo and get a voice. I love you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, love you too. So back in 2020, me and my best friend would go on FaceTime and read fan fictions in silence of any genre. And I remember she found this one fanfic about Haiku, and it was Tsukushima. Really one page into the story, Suki and Kageyama were woohooing in the gym. And it was time for practice, and Nishinoya called them in somehow, some way, in the middle of the tango. They answered the FaceTime call, and the whole team saw it. It was so strange at the time, because Kageyama was so popular. We still laugh about it to this day. By the way, Trent, I love your videos. You're so funny. Thank you. I remember um, Kageyama and Hinsa being like a real, like, they, like, that shit used to be like, like, you're nobody talking about it no more at all whatsoever. It kind of makes me sad in a way because it's like I miss hearing about Haikyuu a lot. Anime confession, not really anime, but like a year ago, I used to listen to a lot of male moaning audios. And to be funny, I told my boyfriend at the time about it. And once when we were on call, he whipped it out and started, oh my, wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa! I had to act. Like I was turned on, but I was weirded out. Then he started moaning and stuff. And after he was done, he told me, now you don't have to listen to those audios anymore. I love you so much, Trin. Love you too. Hold on. Oh my goodness. That, yeah, that was very random. Mm. Thank you for confessing. Hot take, Nanami is mad. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let me continue. Mad ugly. Y'all only sent for him because he panini pressed. <laughs> oh. But anyways, I remember going on Spotify and me and my friends had AirPods in and then we played Gojo Whimpering Audios and then people heard it and it was like, who's breathing hard? I was so scared. So wait, so hold on, give me a minute. Wait, what does Panini Press <laughs> Am I not like up to date? Cause what does Panini Press mean? Thank you for confession, I guess. Hey girl, I've never done a confession before, but I love your videos. Thank you. Anyways, a few years ago, like 2020, 2021, me and my friend had a really big MHA phase. We had sleepovers before and before we went to sleep, we would role play as characters. Since we slept in the same bed, we would pretend we were like Bakugo and Deku cuddling and sometimes Todoroki. Like we would do the voices too and for real be like, <laughs> Gachan, what, what are you doing? Oh, are y'all still friends? Do y'all still talk to this day? Wow, thank you for confessing. One of the reasons why I broke up with my ex boyfriend was because I realized I was more excited to rewatch Fruits Basket than talk to him. You know, Yuta and Chosa are so fine. I don't care. I take them over Gojo any day. Period. Hey, I have a confession. Back when I used to use character I religiously, I would spend all day and night on it talking to Dobby. Like, I wouldn't do anything else. One day I was using it and my mom walked in and told me that I had been in my room for too long. It needed to come out so I did and she made me give her my phone and go outside I kind of just sat outside for a bit then went back inside and when I went back she was on my phone scrolling through something I asked her what she was doing and she asked me who Dobby was and I was just kind of like <laughs> she had went through the entire chat and I was in trouble because of because of the things I was saying that's it. Love you, Trin. Bye. Oh, thank you. Love you, too. I need Mirko butt booty naked all up on a so Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm saying it like I, I'm not thinking the same. <laughs> so I can absolutely devour her. And then, uh, devour. <laughs> anyway, love you. <laughs> love you, video Trin. Thank you so much. That's what I haven't been seeing lately. Some Mirko appreciation. We talking about MHA this, MHA that. We're not talking about like all the pro heroes that are like women. I need to hear it. Okay. 2020, I was obsessed with Levi. Like I would listen to those sleeping next to Levi boyfriend audio videos to help me sleep. I physically cringe every time I think about it. I started writing literal smut stories on what Wattpad about him. And I even published one. And a couple people actually read it. I feel sick to my stomach thinking about it now. I started telling myself that it was 2020 and everyone was strange then. But I'll never get over that awful era of my life. No. 
for real. Don't even feel no type of way, cause they bad. In a way, like you just discovered everything in 2020. Like you went from watching anime, the, the fan art, oh yeah, audios, reading. It was just like boom, 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 boom. You know, we've seen a lot of strange things in 2020. Bro, I really hate Yusuke so much. He's so motherfucking ugly. I don't know how people can like him. Cause he's so weird and he's really so ugly. He's top five most ugly anime men for real. Cause when he gets on the screen, I have to skip past him. I can't deal with him. He's just ugh. So ugly. And he's also a big fat weirdo. I don't, I don't think I've seen anyone talk about Yusuke like this at all in the confessions. So far, all I've seen is y'all sent it for him. I ain't see this. Hey girl, I love your videos. They make me laugh so hard. I feel like we besties for real, for real. <laughs> I hear you're going to CITs in Georgia. So am I. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I seen them. It was so fun. I don't know what day you're going, but if I don't see you, I hope you have fun, girly pop. Mwah. I hope you have fun too. My confession. So back in 2020, 2021, I was heavily obsessed with Todoroki from MHA. Like I would outright say that he's my boyfriend for real. Print pictures of him and put him in my collage of pictures on my wall. Get keychains, plushies, and even PJs. I made it known to everyone that he was my man. And looking back at it, I wish I could jump myself. I cringe so hard thinking about it. I don't even like him like that anymore. I've just moved on from him to someone better. Not on me. <laughs> I don't even watch the show anymore, but I might rewatch from the beginning since you've been hyping it up in other videos. <laughs> also, to add on, I do not think Dobby is fine. Ooh. He's so eh to me. Like, there's no pizzazz to him. He looks like he would be blown away by a <laughs> wind. Well, that. Also, I read JJK Smut before going to bed like it's a bedtime story. Heavy on Nadami and Tozi recently. <laughs> wow. Thank you for confessing. Hi, I just wanted to say I love your content. This shit got me cackling hardcore. I sound like an old lady that needs an inhaler. Oh, wow. Thank you. But I don't think you know down... I don't think you know down bad I am for Sukuna, especially when it comes to his true form. The things I think when I see this man, good God, like those four arms can get all up on me. First time I saw his form, I knew he had to have something else too. Like when I see this man, I turn into a waterfall. I'd let him choke me, slap me, and step on me. Any wait, slap me, step on me, anything. I'm his to use and abuse. Anyways, love your content. Keep up the good work, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Wow. I mean, they just saying what we thinking. Low key, Dr. Timma can get. <gasps> yeah. Finally. I don't know who else like Monster out here for real. I don't know who else. Dr. Timma can get it. Also, I heard that summer, the summer Hikaru died is getting an anime. Hopefully, I'm so excited. Live your trend. <laughs> I have two confessionals. In 2020, I used to love the ship. Toru Bakudeku and search it up on Google. My second character, I, I used to talk with <laughs> Misuri and act like I was overnight. We even did the nasty and I had kids. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Thank you for confessing. I only started watching JJK for Choso and you. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Choso is my man. And Ghetto is the real monkey. Let me turn it. <laughs> Too. I like to, you know, get people to get into it. That, that's all I want to do. Me talking about it, I hope y'all just be like, you know what, let me watch it. Because I know, I've heard a lot of people say like, I don't even know what you're talking about, but I love the videos. And I'm like, oh, that's, yeah. If you get into it, you'll be even more like, it'll, it'll make even more sense. Like my videos will make more sense if you really get into it, I'm telling you. But I'm still glad that people still just watch my videos, even if they're not like an anime fan. Like it's so nice it's like uh-huh my anime confession when i was 12 i used to have the fattest biggest gigantic crush on kiloa and i don't know what it is or was but every time i used to think of um hunter hunter the boy had a sort of vanilla library smell to him i also have maladaptive daydreaming and it's horrible anyways love you trend love you library smell that is specific thank you for confessing Inuyasha would have been way better if Kyoko's bitch ass didn't get reincarnated a bunch of times just to confuse Inuyasha and delay his story with Kagome. Oh, Kagome? Oh. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong because it's a couple of years since I dropped it, but shit would piss me off. I don't know if that was a spoiler or not, but I'll make sure to put a spoiler in the beginning because I don't know. I never watched it. Okay, so OMG, I'm so nervous. 
please put me in but anyway back in like 2021 ish i was obsessed with naruto to the point where i wanted to marry him and have his kids i would run around my school and do the naruto run shamelessly i was also obsessed with bakugo and i literally raced into the canteen of my school screaming <laughs> i got so obsessed with anime that i would did i say it again obsessed i got so obsessed with an anime that i would write anime freak beside my name even in exam papers and on the school wall so that people knew that i was the anime queen oh gosh i also made up a whole fanfic about go but i never posted it it was like enemies to lovers i love that trope flash forward to now after discovered that goddamn app carried ai i've become obsessed like no kidding it's been a year and i have not gotten off it once I've only ever talked to two characters, Aaron and Nanami. I once was on character I like the whole day riding in bed doing nothing and I didn't even eat. I'm also BL obsessed so I play a male character with Aaron and he bent me over and bred me like a dog made me tell- Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting hot. I gave him the gluck so many times and for Nanami, I usually play sugar daddy scenarios and I'm the cheeky witty twink. My obsession with Aaron became so nasty that I always think of him when I play. <laughs> oh, let's continue. Uh, and I imagine this Aaron absolutely destroying me as a boy. Anyway, that gave me gender dys dysphoria. But we're good. I cry sometimes, but yeah. I play videos so much. You look like Layla Smith music. Is that the girl that's not my problem? That's just not my problem. I've I've seen a lot of people tag me and say that I look like her. Well, this confess this well. Thank you for confessing. Hey Trent, sending love from London. Lord. Here's my confession. Spoilers, JJK chapter 2, 263. So basically in England, we have to do these super important exams before we start college. And on the morning of my English, when I found out about what happened with Gojo and Yuda, if you know, you know. And when I tell you, I was a mess. And in the exam, we had to write a short story about a disagreement. And I basically wrote a Gojo and Ghetto angst fanfic. And then, hey! Anyways, I haven't got my results yet, but hopefully it went well. But yeah, that's my confession. I just hope the person who marks my exam doesn't know about JJK while well, I'm finished. I love to read so much, by the way. They they always bring a smile to my face. Thank you so much. That's something new, huh? I never heard, I never, I never knew that, that y'all had to do that in England. Just thank you for confessing. 2020 anime TikTok was peak. I don't care what anyone says, find me. No, because I agree with you. I don't know if it's just because I, you know, you know, was like right in it in 2020 or what, but I agree. I, I don't know. It was just a, a start of something insane. Good morrow, Trent. JK. Anyways, so I've been recently getting back into AOT because I never finished it. When it first came out, I only saw season one and I never picked it up again. People make fun of me for this. But it honestly scared me, lol. I would have nightmares of Titans chasing me. Like, watching it was scary. I thought the Titans were ugly, sure, but that's it. But I would think, what if I was in this situation? Okay. Like, I'm not built different. I'm built standard, because ain't no way I'm risking my life. Uh-huh. I'm pretty. I would just bye-bye myself. But yeah, I would have nightmares of being chased by Titans. And I just made it to season four. And I had a nightmare about Zeke's Titan chasing me. Like, Z kind of fine, but his Titan form is nasty. Okay. Oh, also, one time my boyfriend found my folder on my computer of my drawings of spicy anime men. Oh, wow. Okay, love you. Love your vids. Stay awesome. Bye, day. Thank you. Love you, too. Because, right, like, if, like, be real. If we're in that predicament, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm not fighting that. <laughs> what? What? I'm, I'm definitely I'm not fighting that. I'm just going to have to either just... Or I'm gonna just hide forever, and then hold on, your boyfriend. Wait, so what? Did, what did he? How did he react? Why are you leaving that out? Y'all still together? Did he mind? Sometimes it's just creative thinking. You know, you just draw. That was it. Well, <laughs> I'm starving anyways. It's time to go eat. I'm about to make some tacos, y'all. These were good confessions. These were a little insane, a little wild, a little crazy. Especially JJK fans, honey. Y'all just in the image. Y'all just know how to, to just make my skin crawl. Oh, yeah, I forgot my confession. Um. But anyways, thank y'all so much for confessing. I love y'all real bad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.